Right, so because I'm a petty asshole and I got the... I saw the question about um, different triggers earlier, I just wanted to give a couple of examples of what that trigger can look like. So at first we have ourselves a pretty standard SEMA branded um, M4 trigger. And basically what you can see is it has this like lip to the front and this lip to the side and top. And this is actually what pushes it forward. As far as I know, as long as it has that and it's long enough, it should work with almost any trigger unit, be it analog or electronic. However, um, I would be cautious and just make sure that it also has the forward lip just to be sure, because that can be a factor for some optical MOSFETs and I'm pretty sure it's also actually necessary for the function of analog units. So just to give an example of what it shouldn't look like, here is a um, G and G trigger. Basically this one also has that side lip, but it's screwed on and I've removed it, lost it, and basically this won't work with pretty much any trigger unit in its current state. So yeah. To give some other examples, this one is a retro arms CNC trigger. Uh, as you can see, it's slightly differently shaped, but I'd say fairly similar enough. You can definitely recognize it. This one is a CNC trigger from a different brand, and this one is a molded trigger from Lancer Tactical. And basically, you can see the pattern, I think. They have this forward hooked lip and then the upward tab, essentially, that actually actuates the trigger switch. And as long as the trigger has both of those things and they're not occluded or they're not covered up by something else, I would assume that most likely it'll work for you.